No, it is not clickbait. As you can see from this chart, the number of Iron Crown in the market are quickly disappearing. Hello, people. This is Brett from Bear Collector, and today we're going to take a look at the supply for mainly Iron Crown and Gudgeon Fire EX SIR version in the European market. We're going to do that, as you can see here, with our chart and tool that charts current market data. Spoiler this is going to be available for free soon in the Discord. So I recommend you guys join the Discord link down below. Absolutely free if you want to stay updated with that. Hopefully it'll be ready by the end of the week and it'll be absolutely free. So my apologies, but it was a busy day. So I'm going to make it pretty quick as I don't have much time. So as you can see here, this is the number of cards listed on car market over the past three to four weeks. As you can see here, it goes as back as April 21st. And uh, it went from over 75 carts to now just above 55. So it went from almost 80 to 55 carts. And that is about a 30% drop in terms of supply. So 30% of the carts are going in less than a month. And we know what happened in the American market. And we're going to take a look at the number of lists in just a second on TG Player as well. And here, if I take you through price, as you can see here, to chart has changed. And the chart basically is pretty much stable in the mid 50s. But as soon, the main takeaway is as soon as the sellers with the most supplies, so the seller that have multiple cards listed at once are gone, then this is potentially going to be soon and quickly a 70 to 80 euros card as well as dollars as we're going to see in just a second so here before we move on to gudgeon fire and then we'll take a look at roaring moon and we'll compare the different level of supply here on tg players you can see it is selling for 70 dollars and if you look here lowest listed are at 70 dollars there's one with 11 cards so quite a significant level of supply but then as soon as you go into page two they're all single listings and you quickly move on to the 75, so mid 70s, and then again, all single listings, and you are already at $80. So it could be a matter of time that this car, especially in the European market, as it's, as it's still at 55 euros, that it gets to $70. So in terms of absolute value, it equals the price on the American market. But now let's take a look at something even more interesting, and that is Gaussian Fire. It went from, again, 75, cards roughly listed in the European market car market to now below 50. That is over a 30% drop in terms of supply. And how did price react? As you can see here, we're looking at price. Price was pretty stable. It is significantly stable around the 35 euros. That is the average price of the four lowest listing. And again, what is really important and what is the main focus of this video, as soon, what usually happen is, as soon as, again, the sellers that have multiple cards listed, as soon as that supply is gone, then prices usually tend to move a bit higher. And here I want to compare. So you're, you know, you're looking at Gaussian Fire that has, as you can see here, below 50 cards, not right now listed. You're looking at Iron Crown that also has a similar amount of cards listed. So let's take a look at another card that is the main chase card when it comes to SIR of Paradox Rift, so the previous main set, and we are in the 100. Now, one thing I have to say, I do expect this number to increase over a long period of time as there is a significant amount of number of boxes available in the market. I made a video on it. I'll, I'll leave it, pump it up as always here on top of my face so you can watch the number of Scarlet Invited boxes available in the European market. And that is could also be a good estimate for the American market as well. And uh, I do expect over a long period of time, so years, two, three years from now, this number to potentially move higher. But uh, for the short term, I don't expect this number to change much, especially considering temporal forces pull rates. And uh, it, this could trigger a buy signal. Now, I'm not telling you to buy. I don't know if I'm going to buy myself. This is not financial advice. It's just mainly a market update on what's going on. If you enjoyed this type of content, please. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any updates. If you enjoyed the video, then I recommend if you could leave a like. It really helps. It goes a long way for the algorithm. I hope to see you in the Discord. I hope to see you soon on the channel. And thanks for watching.